Hello and very warm welcome to One India News YouTube channel. I'm Gulab. The work on GST started in the country almost 17 years back with a focus on simplifying a complicated maze of state and central indirect taxes. While 175 officials worked tirelessly for more than 18,000 man hours in the past six months to ensure the four GST bills were placed before Parliament in the budget session. Here are four people without whom India's biggest tax reform would not have been possible. Asim Das Gupta In 2000, for the first time, the government appointed the committee to begin discussions on GST. It was headed by then West Bengal Finance Minister Asim Das Gupta. A few years later, Das Gupta returned as the head of the Empowered Committee of State Finance Ministers to thrash out the new indirect tax. The MIT professor turned Marxist leader held long discussions with other states, industry bodies and other stakeholders to carve a GST model. Vijay Kelkar Vijay Kelkar Task Force on the Implementation of the FRBM Act 2003 pointed out problems of a cascading indirect tax regime. It suggested a comprehensive GST based on a value-added tax principle. As chairman of the 13th Finance Commission, Vijay Kelkar again pissed for GST. He proposed the formation of a National GST Council. P. Chidambaram P. Chidambaram was the first finance minister to include the proposal for an indirect tax reform in the union budget of 2006. After his return to North Bloc that houses the finance ministry in 2012, Chidambaram worked tirelessly, created committees and subcommittees to ensure all states' grievances are noted and resolutions found. He set a deadline of December 2012 to resolve all issues raised by states. But with Lok Sabha elections approaching in 2014, it was difficult for him to get to the finish line. Arun Jaitley BJP is all set to take credit for ushering in one of the biggest tax reforms of India. But bulk of the credit has to go to Finance Minister Arun Jaitley whose efforts since 2014 made the impossible possible by getting all states to put aside their political agenda and support GST. Even during moments of hopelessness, Jaitley batted for consensus. His friendly overtures towards Congress in the Raj Sabha ensured the passing of a constitutional amendment in August 2016, paving the way for GST. That's all for now. For more news and updates, don't forget to subscribe to One India News YouTube channel.